Hi everyone. In this video, let's see in Swift language what is the differ keyword or what is the use of differ and where it is actually very helpful. So let me take an example and explain you. Let's say I have a user guessing app uh, with integer values and I calculate the number of attempts. Let's say attempts. Let's say initially it's zero, and I have a method where where user guess is correct or not based on the value uh, chose by the user. Now, if number of items is greater than three. I'll not take user guess and the correct value is 100 let's say correct value is 100 then user get guess is perfect if not then user guess is false now here uh, when the guess is correct or when the guess is wrong in both the cases what I need to do is I have to increase the number of items okay uh, maybe for this guess uh, but then and the number of items are for the entire game and the uh, user has guessed a first value so based on that let's say I want to increment my number of items so I need to increase when it is guess is correct and also when the guess is wrong now see this is this is the duplicate code for example if here it is having only two cases where the guess is correct and guess is wrong and if there is a scenario where there will be multiple multiple cases and each and every case if we need to increase the number of attempts so to avoid this uh, using this single statement at multiple places within a single function so swift has provided something called differ where you write something in differ that means this you delete you put it here you delete it you don't need to but you may question saying if we delete it only at the function starting you are you are using the you are incrementing the number of items so what happens whether it gets applied to whether the guess is right or guess is wrong yes so when we are writing something in differ actually the uh, in this body uh, differ body whatever we write and this will get executed when the function is about to return that means when the function is about to complete its execution about to uh, uh, get out of it so that means if this is the case or this is the case or this is the case when it is about to return something or when it is about to complete its execution this will get him this will get executed so to prove this what i'm going to do is uh, let me take an uh, let's take let me take a couple of values for example initially 90 so this is my first item after that this value is supposed to be 1 so same thing this is also wrong value this value is supposed to be 2 same uh, let me 150 so this is 3 and after that though if I give the correct value this is supposed to be written me false why because number of items only 3 we, we are allowing if I execute it number of items 1 but it is false it is false it is false uh, this one okay it became true uh, why because I have given greater than 3 so instead of this if I give 2 then it will become false though I am giving though I am giving the correct value So that's the that's the use of differ where uh, within the function execution if, the, if there is a line of execution or multiple lines of execution where we need to uh, do something like whether it is going to be scenario 1 or scenario 2 or scenario 3 I need to do something so this is in real time scenario if you if you ask me to give an example let's say I'm, I'm reading a file for example the I'm opening a file in a method and if the file reading is successful or not successful end of the function execution I need to close the file 
otherwise there will be memory issue so so these type of things uh, differ helps us in swift language i hope this video is helpful thank you